What is up, guys? It is Beast Mode Killer 101, and we are talking with Lazy Monkey 225. He's playing NCAA football 13. So, Jake, what are you on? Are you um just exhibition or Road to Glory? Road to Glory. I just made a touchdown with my uh, speed. I picked speed as my efficiency uh, or whatever. I don't really know what it's called, but yeah, I think speed, and I'm beating them 7 to nothing in the first quarter. So, we're going to talk about Black Ops 2, NCAA Football Dude, 13. I didn't even, it's oh. pretty awesome. Never mind, never mind, it messed it up. As you can see, he's got a lot of Black Ops 2 trophies, because his brother uh, played Black Ops 2 campaign a lot, like, in one night, started just playing it. All right, Jake. What about Black Ops Two? How how is it? Fun. It's not. I wouldn't say it's good as Black Ops Two, though. I wouldn't say it's good as Black Ops One. That's what I meant. All right. Yeah. Uh, I would say like uh the graphics are different. It's in 2025. You're gonna see a lot of new future stuff and all that. I know that. So. Uh, Black Ops 1, usually sequels and uh, trilogies, you know, like trilogy is like the third movie of, of of one original movie. So I think originals are better than the sequels or trilogies. Don't you think? Yeah, I really do because, yeah, I really do. Because, like, today I was playing it at my friend's house and it ripped me off so much. I was shooting at this dude uh, with the with this sight where it, it'll like show you the red dot on him or whatever, and then you start shooting at him. I was shooting at this dude uh, for like five seconds, and then he jumped off the express train. You know that map, Express. He jumped off the train, and then uh, he fell off, and then he just started running back up to where I was shooting him again, and then I finally killed him like after five minutes because he just kept on running the same route, and wondering what was happening to him. Then I got knifed by this dude uh, after uh, he ran up the last route or whatever. And then I started shooting directly at this dude. He would not die. And then he came up to me and uh, started shooting at me from like 10 feet away. It was such a ripoff. But in Black Ops 1, you could take the AK-47 or the infield or any other gun and just go wah, 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 wham and just kill him. But I'm saying that Black Ops 2 is pretty good. It is pretty awesome. Uh, but I'm just saying that Black Ops 1 is kind of better than Black Ops 2. But Black Ops 2 is pretty beast. So, uh, what do you think about NCAA Football 13? Is it pretty cool? That's really fun. Uh, I'm about to make a touchdown. Oh, sweet. Uh, what is your team name called? Crabble Lines. Crabble Lines? Okay. Uh, well, it has been past 3 minutes 20 seconds, we are about to end this, and we are going to talk about some more stuff, probably tomorrow, um, Saturday, Sunday, if I'm on the phone with them. So, if I'm talking with anybody else of my friends, I will make a talk with them. So, Jake, uh, Black Ops 1, what can you compare it with Black Ops 2? Is Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1 both the same or different? They're very different in some ways. Like, one way zombies is better than Black Ops 1, some ways Black Ops 1 zombies is better than Black Ops 2 zombies. So it's very different. Yeah, I can tell because uh, Darius is kind of beast. I, you, I play that map all the time. I mean, I got up to round freaking 19 or 18, yeah, 19 on it. And I was going pretty beast. I had the ray gun, uh, and I had the Thompson upgraded. Did you know it's called gibbs o -Matic? It's kind of weird. It was a funny name. Whenever I first saw the pack punch name of the gibbs o -Matic, I was bursting out laughing. I was freaking cracking up because I just pictured a gibbs o -Matic, like in a jiggly way, a fat jiggly way. It was so funny. All right, Jake, what do you got to say about NCAA 13 and NCAA 12? I like both of the games, but I don't think NCAA 13 has as good graphics, but I do think it has better playing mechanics.
and it's like, it's better movement. It's easier to control. Yeah, I think the same thing. NCAA 12, you got a little bit of slow players. Uh, you can create a player and make them really fast. But you might want to turn the injury all the way up because I turned mine all the way down to zero because I did not know what it meant, like, if I would take an injury really easily. So I just put it down to zero. On the first run that I got as halfback, whenever they kicked it off, I was on Alabama. I got tackled and my leg got hurt the first play that I did with them. So on NCAA 13, there's more faster stuff. I've played at his house. I've played it at his house. It is very beast. Uh... If you make a road to glory, never put your player up over six foot. Because it'll make them so slow. I mean freaking slow. Don't make your halfback fat or your quarterback because it'll just be horrible. So, this has been Talk with Lazy Monkey 225 And I hope you enjoyed this rate. Subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.